everyone, welcome back to Beauty Block. As you can tell, we're starting off our Halloween series. Now each week we're gonna do one theme and execute two looks. I'll be doing my own version and Thathi will be doing hers. And this week we chose animals. I chose the peacock. Now this is more of an editorial look, but I was just really inspired by the colors of the peacock. So if you wanna see how I created this look, just keep on watching. I'm going to start off with a bare face, no product, and no eyebrows. And I'm going to go in and cover my eyebrows with a glue stick. Now, I've never done this before on myself. So in case the glue doesn't cover my entire eyebrow, I also have this Ben Knight Nose and Scar Wax that I'll probably just pop right over. But I'm going to go in with just an Elmer's Extra Strength Glue Stick. And I'm gonna go against the hair growth a few times. I'm really just gonna work it in. And then I'm gonna go in the opposite direction with the hair growth. So I'm just gonna go in with a spooling and I'm just gonna comb them out. So every hair is coated with the glue. And then just with the back of a spatula, I'm gonna press it down. So it's as flat to my skin as possible. And just with a regular baby wipe, I'm just gonna go around, just to remove the surrounding glue that's untouched. I'm gonna let that set and dry for a couple minutes. So luckily the glue stick was all I needed and they're as flat to my skin as possible. So I'm just gonna jump right into foundation. And I'm gonna be using Maybelline's Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the color 220, natural beige. To block out my brows even more, I'm gonna go in with this MAC Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in the color Light. Wow, I am scared of myself right now, so. Anyways, you can kind of still see, obviously, that the outline of how dark my eyebrows are, but that really does, I really don't care about that because I'm just going to cover it with glitter anyways, but I just wanted to kind of block out most of my brow. So I'm going to go on to concealer, and for concealer, I'm going to be using MAC Pro Longwork in the color NC15, and I'm going to conceal and highlight with this. Before I set this with powder, I'm going to go and add some warmth to my skin. I'm going to be using Too Faced's Chocolate Soleil. And to set my cream highlight, I'm gonna be using Ben Nine's Luxury Powder in the color Cameo. I'm 
I'm going to start with Anastasia's palette, World Traveler. From this palette, I'm going to be taking the color Morocco. I'm going to be placing Morocco right at the beginning of my eyebrow and focusing into the dip of the inner corner of the eye. And continue to build up the color, just at this inner corner. And then I'm going to lightly drag it down, just where the bridge of my nose sits. And I'm gonna feather it up past my brow. I'm gonna go up into the temple. Then I'm gonna take the outer corner of my eye and sweep into my crease. But I'm gonna leave the middle of my lid completely bare. And then I'm gonna sweep again towards my temple. I'm then going to take fudge and deepen the inner corner of the eye. I'm going to take fudge again and pack it right at the outer corner. So I'm going to be layering a bunch of colors just side by side. I'm going to be taking the blue color from the palette and placing it right next to the, the two colors we just laid down. I'm going to be taking Max Bottle Green and place that right next to the blue. I'm then going to take this green olive color. I believe it's from MAC, but if I can find the name of the color, I'll list it below. If not, I'll find something similar. And I'm going to place this all over in the middle. Now for the fun but very messy part. I'm going to take Glitter Guard by Sephora. I'm going to be using two glitters from Lime Crime. These are from her Zodiac line. And I'm going to be taking Aquarius and Cancer. And with just the tip of my finger, I'm going to work in that glue just to warm it up. And then I'm going to place it to my eyebrow, pressing up. So most of the color is going to be at the eyebrow, and then I'm just going to feather up. I found Jumbo Glitter from the brand Createology. This is a little harder to work with, but again, if you just work in small sections, you get the hang of it. I'm going to be taking this pigment from Sugar Pill in the color Lumi. I'm going to mist down my brush before I go in with the pigment just to intensify the color. And I'm going to apply it all over my lid. I'm going to take this pigment from Makeup Geek and it's the color Liquid Gold. And I'm going to apply this to the inner corner of my eye. I'm going to go into the palette and use Fudge and Morocco and just smoke out my lower lash line. With Maybelline's Eye Studio Gel Liner in the color Black and create a winged cat eye. I'm 
I'm also gonna go inside my waterline. I'm gonna apply these lashes from, from Flutter Lashes in Intoxicating. For my highlight, I'm gonna go into the Jaclyn Hill Becca palette, and I'm gonna mix the two highlighters, which is Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop. For blush, I'm going to take Armoretto. I personally want to keep the lips nude, but I will give you two options in case you want to just go full color. For my first lip, I'm going to go with kind of a purpley pink and I'm going to be using Lime Crimes Velveteens in the color Utopia and Pansy. I'm going to go in with the color Pansy first. And then I'm going to take Utopia and apply it just to the middle. For those who prefer a nude lip, I'm going to be using Urban Decay's lip liner in the color Liar and apply it just to the outer corners of my lips. And then I'm going to go in with NYX's Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Stockholm and apply it all over the lip. And this is a completed look. Thank you so much for watching, and until next week with another video, we'll see you then. Bye!